In this video, you'll learn the best induction brands and models to consider and better yet why you should. There is no single best induction range. For example, the most reliable induction range is one of the smallest ovens. So you'll learn by feature as well. Stay to the end and you'll learn the three problems you should be aware of before considering any induction range or brand. The most reliable induction brand is the Bosch Slide-In, not to be confused with their new freestanding, standing, which is made by the Italian company Smeg. The average first year repair rate for an induction range is about 10.5%. Bosch ranges are half that at just over 5.4%. Range is good wattage in the top with a 3700 watt burner, a 23600 and 12400 watt burner, convection oven, and even a warming drawer underneath. So if you cook and serve up to three hours later, your food won't look and taste like mush. However, the Bosch is a bit pricey between $3,700 and $4,000, and the oven again is smaller, 4.6 cubic feet. To see if that'll work for you, bring a pan to your local store and see if it fits. As odd as that may seem, it's better than finding out after delivery. The new thermometer is the most flexible. While many cooktops can be bridged on one side, the thermometer can be bridged on both sides, but it can do so much more. You can set the cooktop to do most of your cooking automatically through presets. Let's say I want to cook my daughter's mac and cheese on the thermometer. I first boil the water, then set it at medium once the noodles are in, and then I want to warm it after straining the water. You can do that simply by moving the pan back two inches into another zone. The Liberty technology is available in their 30 and 36 inch ranges. However, the capacity is small at 4.4 for the 30 and 4.9 for the 36 inch, which is smaller than the largest 30 inch induction brand, which is LG. The LG LSIS6338 has a few key features, namely the hottest 4200 watt induction burner. The oven is huge at 6.3 cubic feet. We'll get into oven capacities a bit better a bit later in the problem section. This model also employs the InstaView window so you can look inside the oven or tap it to darken. However, you don't have a bridge element if you have an odd shaped pan or griddle in this model. Cafe is the largest oven, it's 6.7 cubic feet, 2.4 cubic in the smaller oven on the top, 4.3 cubic in the larger oven below. That's either good for you by making smaller items and casseroles in the top oven, or a backbreaker if you're cooking larger items and have to lift from the oven below. You can customize it with white, black, or stainless steel finishes, and many different handle options. The cafe does have the bridge element connecting the two burners on the left-hand side with a max output of 3700 watts. G still has their own service department, a key consideration if you're buying from a store without service. The Mueller MasterChef has the easiest, most functional way to cook. You input the food type and how you like it cooked, and the oven calculates the ideal time and temperature. You even have steam functionality to bake bread, which can also be done automatically by hitting a button. Once San Francisco sourdough or banana bread, hit the button. The oven is powered by twin convection for more even heat. I should also mention Wolf here with their blower convection, which delivers more air than fans. The Wolf Gourmet is a lot like MasterChef, only without the smart functionality. Wolf gives you the rack position as well. However, Wolf will not be available until fourth quarter this year. Meals on the smaller side at 4.59 cubic feet and cost over $9,000. However, they do offer a significant rebate occasionally. The 36 inch Fish and Pickel has a good number of modes, nine in their contemporary and classic and 15 in their pro series, along with twin convection and a large warming drawer below. The cooktop surface is second to Thermidor with a powerful center burner and two bridge elements on either side. However, it too is smaller for a larger oven at 4.9 cubic feet, which brings us to our general problem section. Every company is in a rush to manufacture induction ranges, especially since many cities like Boston are banning gas ranges and new high rises in multifamily. However, you would expect these sizes to be bigger than the LG's 6.3 cubic feet in a 30 inch size. The only Wolf is the same size. Most is significantly smaller. Lockerd is 3.81 cubic feet. Bosch is 3.7. Frigidaire is 4.4. Electrolux is 4.6. And Thermidor is 4.9 cubic. I would be careful when buying most 36 inch ranges. We just did the best 36 inch range video. Quite frankly, it was a struggle. Speaking of struggle, availability of induction due to their popularity is a problem. You should plan on waiting one to six months. We have three induction models in stock right as we record this out of about 17 total. 
Many available induction brands like Ilvi, Bertazzoni, and Smeg are stylish, but fall short a bit on what happens after the sale. For that, I would Google individual reviews. Lastly, unlike gas or electric, you'll need service on your induction range. The first year service rate is 10.5%. And remember, if you're replacing your electric range, typically it's 40 amps, while all of these on this list, except for Bosch, are 50 amp, while gas is only 15 amps. So you will need some minor or major electrical work when converting to induction range. If you like this video and want to learn more about induction ranges, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified first when we release new videos.